welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i like to thank all my subscribers all over the world to make marine tech hub to the highest level so if you have uh, taking membership level 5 i will be giving full support for one year with all video links uh, which will be very helpful so people from different shipping companies superintendent chief engineers second engineers and all engineers calling me for help so most of my videos are troubleshooting so i am not telling anything basics so today uh, i would like to explain about the maneuvering diagram of man bnw here the model is written uh, so this diagram is actually the actual picture i have taken then i am identifying where these components are so when you click on these numbers you will be able to go on that particular component on the ship and you will be able to know why these components are there so this full uh, maneuvering diagram i have made in such a way that you can see the real uh, location of each of this component so i will run the video for you welcome to marine tech hub uh today i would like to explain about maneuvering diagram uh, especially for main engine man bnw so most of the time what man bnw will give a diagram uh, which will be similar to this but very important is how to identify each component where they are placed in the engine so very important so what i have done is i have uh, made the maneuvering diagram in such a way that if you click on these numbers you will be able to go to exactly where the components are and when you click on the speaker icon you will be able to hear what the components are meant for so in this diagram i'll explain a little bit uh, more so that you will understand what it is this if you see this box this is for the emergency maneuvering uh, box where all the components are there yellow color so you have this then we have 127 is for the this component this for the emergency stop then we have the components here for the starting air we have here then we have other components here 86 88 90 all these components i'll be explaining in detail one by one for the time being i will just show you how it is suppose you want to see 102 where the components are there so you have to just click here when you click here it will go to that particular block here i opened the cover uh, this is the emergency platform i opened the cover and i have marked this is the component 102 and uh, 102 is nothing but a two position three way wall so the function of this wall is to lead pilot signal from wall 25 and supply air to wall 105 when it is activated so what i am trying to show you is suppose you want to go back again so you have to click on this so you go back again to the main component here suppose you want to check where 127 is the emergency block here i click here so you have the block 127 and there's a speaker icon here if i click icon it will tell what it is let's click it uh, this block is position number 127 and it is a two position three way solenoid wall the function of this solenoid wall is to actuate the puncture wall on the fuel pump when a shutdown signal is given from the safety system so again i go back there's one more knob here you can see the yellow color knob here so when the signal is coming here electrical signal this will activate suppose this is not working then you can use this knob to activate it so if i click here in case there is a malfunction of operating of the solenoid wall block 127 by electrical means 
The solenoid valve can be operated manually by a small knob provided in the block, which you can see in the picture. So this is the manual operation you can do it. So I am trying to explain in case of emergency stop of the main engine. So how to uh, do and where the signal is going. So this is very important. I, I again click here home. So I go back. So you can see different components here. Suppose you want to see 117. So you click here 117 here. So you can see the components are here 117. And uh, this icon here, you can click on this icon. This block is position number 117, which is a two position three way valve. The function of this valve is to activate starting air distributor when stop signal is given. Location main engine platform near the air distributor. So again I go back to the main manoring diagram here. So in part 2 of the video I will be explaining you more and more of this. For beginners it is little bit difficult. But uh, for engineers who are going for exams and all this will be very helpful. And if you like the uh, video please subscribe. And if you have any message please let me know. Have a nice day. If you like the video, you can subscribe and you can make payment to my bank account for membership level 5 and uh, not to YouTube channel. YouTube channel you have to make payment every month. Okay, so if you like the video, please subscribe. My phone number, email is there and you can message me from the ship also. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.